Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. Uh, today I'm going to uh, do part 11 of the building the trimarang sailing boat. Uh, in today's episode, uh, we're going to uh, I'm going to cut a hole in the boat for the dagger board, and I'm going to make up the dagger board case. And if you look at the videos before, you can see where that is going. Uh, that needs several coats of of uh, of epoxy so we will be making up the pieces and then coating them before we assemble it all so while we're waiting for it to dry then we will do some other work we will put on the outer gunwale that's the uh, gunwale is uh, that goes around the top of the boat the outside one and that will make the boat look uh, it'll make it look better as well and make it much stronger as well good morning uh, it's piping hot the last couple of days here and uh, so it's early in the morning now it's 7 30 we're going to start get a few hours work in before it boils up I have the fan very high down there uh, and uh, what I'm going to do today is we're going to make the case for the dagger board we can't we have to put two coats of epoxy on it before we fit it on the inside because you won't be able to paint it on the inside or if you are it's going to be very difficult so we will be making up two pieces one here and one here and it'll be going against this, uh, this uh, dwarf here, which will be there. And this will be framed as well. But the first thing I want to do before I do that is I want to drill a hole in the boat. Well, I want to drill two holes in the boat. And when I drill the hole in the boat, uh, I will cut it from the far side. Uh, if I cut a little bit too much off it, it's fine because we'll be putting lots of epoxy in. We'll, we'll be fairing the corners. We'll be bullnosing the corner where the... Where, where it is and there'll be a lot of stuff going on. This also here also needs all needs two coats of air and here anywhere that, not here yeah well here they will be glued on the, the, the dagger board will be, case will be glued here we'll give that a bit of a sanding it's already got one coat and we'll be doing a bit of work that we'll make up the two pieces here with the framing on them so there are just uh, two little squares and uh, from here to the inside of this one is 228 it says and the dagger board is 220 so there's eight millimeter freedom in the dagger board the dagger board will have to put sort of some sort of mechanism that will pop itself up with an elastic or something like that uh, so uh, as I said I didn't do this before so I'm going to drill two holes here where the plywood is and I'm going to turn the boat over and going to cut out the hole with the jigsaw. We have a center line in the on the bottom, so we will keep in line with the center line. And we will cut the bottom of our boat. Okay, so I'll just uh, make two little pilot holes here. I will lift it up first, I don't want to. Beauty of this boat is it's so light, you can lift it with one hand. No. I'm going to build up the epoxy on it anyway. So uh, I'm going to turn the boat over. No, it's not beautiful, but it's okay. We can rasp it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, now, like we had the boat in the water yesterday, uh, sorry, the day before, and now we go and we cut a hole in it. So uh, uh, the rest of the family think I'm crazy cutting a hole in the boat, but the hole in the boat is for the dagger board, and you all know that. So uh, mm. we're going to turn the boat back over around the other side, and then we will do the rest. So the hole is a little bit uneven there, but I'll rasp it in, it's just a little bit... Uh, hard, it's hard to mark it first and then the line was rubbing itself out but uh, we will be fine with it we can t uh, so when I put the dagger board casing on this on the on the sides of it it'll probably be screwed into it uh, I'm not sure whether I have to screw it into it or not I probably will but it will be there will be fiberglass on the outside of it and everything like that and I'm not sure if we're going to fiberglass here yet but I can take this down with a ch uh, chisel or whatever for the moment this is fine so we're going to turn the boat back over the other way and we will start making up the two pieces for the casing 
and we'll also prepare here and we'll uh, we, the reason I want to make the two pieces for the casing right now is because uh, I need to get two coats of epoxy on them before I put them in. Okay, so th that didn't take very long. I made the, the forward uh, dwarf for the, for the bulkhead here. I uh, have it made here. And uh, I also made the two sides. Now, the reason I'm not fitting this is I want these all sealed with two coats. It's going to be really hard to get coating on, on these when they're down in the... When they're, da when they're down, because we've only got 20 millimeters, I actually have 21 millimeters there, I think, but... Uh, and I also wanted to, I'll just take them up like this, I also wanted to put nice stuff here, and then when we screw this one in, then we make the seal. And then we make the seal between here and here. So we will put in uh, epoxy uh, with, with uh, some anti-sag in it, and we will screw the, the two uh, dwarfs into this. And then it will ooze out maybe a little bit. Uh, it'll ooze out where they're going in there. That's fine. We'll be able to get a, a lollipop stick or something down there. And I will screw this one in and this one in here. And uh, so what I want to do is I want to finish all these first. So I screwed these in. It doesn't say screw in, but I screwed them in because by screwing them in, it's going to be quicker for me. I'm going to give these two, all, all these surfaces here, two coats of epoxy. And I'm going to fill the screw holes. Outside here it don't matter, but it's still going to have to be done. Uh, this part and this, the inside of both of these have to be uh, epoxied. And then sanded and then epoxied again. And I want it all nice and smooth. So I'm going to take out these pieces now. And uh, I'm going to put them over there. I'm going to mix up some epoxy. And uh, I'll give that to Rex there. And I'll take this out and I'll epoxy, I'll, I'll make sure I have two coats all along here, right? Because this is going to be in contact with the water. Eh? Give me one of those again there, Rex, and I should explain. Just in case you don't understand. That's going to be tight against there like that, right? So there has to be a seal. This is all exposed to the water, right? Here. So this has to be sealed to the bottom. And this has to be sealed to both sides, to, to both warts of the bunkhead. So... That, that's fine. I think by, by uh, epoxying them first, it's going to... I'll, ju I'll just fill the holes and all that. Okay, now I've given all these... Uh, in the boat itself, I've done the one coat of epoxy anywhere that's going to be. I've done both sides of these, each corner of these one coat. I have to let it dry. Uh, be well, before it fully dries, we will start filling these. Uh, but I won't give it second coat till tomorrow. Because... Uh, I want to be able to sand it before the last coat. I might even put three coats on these. So, uh, next job I'm going to do is I'm going to do the gunwales. So, uh, I'll move this out of the way. And I will start on this end. There's a bit of a knot on the end there, but there's a curve in this piece of wood, and I want to leave it like that. And, and, and we can do some work on the knot later on if we have to. So, what we'll do is we'll just get a quick clamp here, and we'll put one on here. Rex, Rex is going to help me here now. Rex, you're going to help me, yeah? No. So, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we're going to put these on with, uh, these are 20 millimeter, I'm going to countersink them in, I'm going to use 40 millimeter sc uh, screws. Now, best thing to do first and foremost is to get your pencil and mark where the ones are already and you can come in between them ones because you won't see these when you have this on. You don't want to uh, put a screw into a screw. That's a lot of screws, but that's, uh, this is an important part of your boat as well, I suppose, if you hit off something. So it's also giving the whole boat strength and shape as well. So we put this mark so that we don't. So we're going to go between these marks with our screws. or to that. So I'll put clamps along these. I will re re use real clamps. I'm going to have to move the boat over this way a little bit. And we'll take out some of our... These are our school clamps. I have G clamps there, but I find these ones quicker. So we'll clamp it along, maybe every two or three. This makes our boat look substantially... Str uh, maybe less delicate than uh, earlier and so 
So I'm going to drill, uh, I'm going to drill a hole for the, the screw to go through here and then a smaller hole in there and then I'm going to countersink them as well. When I, when, I take this, when I take this off then we're going to sand it and then we're going to do the other one and we will screw them, we will screw both of them up at the one time because we're mixing the epoxy. So what we'll do is we're going to, for now we're going to, I'm going to put a mark so we know where we're going to, like that which is, should be no problem because we're going to the very back of the front stem. So I'm going to drill them now in between each one of the other ones. I'm going to drill all them up now and then uh, I'm going to drill these up, countersink them, uh, just check to make sure the screws are okay going into them and then we will do the other side, I will clamp them up as well and then when I come back to you we will have the epoxy mixed up and we will start screwing them in. So I'm going to put this glue all down along it, the epoxy mixed with candesol, uh, not too much candesol, uh, not like for fillers but enough that it won't dribble down the side of the boat and we're going to put the clamps back on then and we're going to screw it up and then we're going to do the other side I might have enough time to do both of them with, with what I have left here maybe don't need the clamp if I have an extra pair of hands here I probably might need the clamp so Rex can hold his finger here to know if it's flush or not we've drilled the hole so it should go in where it's supposed to go in up, up And your finger. Now they're well countersunk in. Where did I have one in here before? So that's our gun rail on. I'm going to fill out, finish off all the screws in it now and do the other side and then we just let, let it set and then we will, this one will be curved off I think this screw will have to come out uh, this screw here I think it's in the wrong place but that's fine we'll take it out afterwards and so uh, that's our, our outer gun rail and we have our epoxy drying here and it's piping hot still outside so that's the end of part uh, 11 and yeah, if you enjoyed the video or you want to follow the series uh, it'd be nice of you to click uh, subscribe up here and subscribe to our channel if you click the bell notifications uh, it will come up in your notifications uh, when we bring out a new one I'll have another video out next week and uh, thank you once again for watching and I will just leave you with, uh, with uh, where I live again. <laughs>